I should tell you that there are a lot of people out there, many of the pundits and politicians, they say Bernie Sanders should drop out. <laughs> Let me be as clear as I can be. I agree with you. We are in to the last ballot is cast. Welcome to the Journal Editorial Report. I'm Paul Gico. A defiant Bernie Sanders vowing to stay in the Democratic presidential race until the bitter end, despite a growing chorus on the left urging him to pack it in. But a new Fox News poll is just the latest to show Sanders running stronger against Donald Trump in a general election matchup than Hillary Clinton. So could he be the better bet for Democrats come November? Let's ask Wall Street Journal columnist and deputy editor Dan Henninger, editorial board member Dorothy Rabinowitz, and best of the web today columnist James Toronto. So James, the Democratic establishment, including all the columnists who love his socialist ideas, are now turning on Bernie Sanders. Why are they falling out of love? Well, I think Sanders is reminding them of the party's real problem, which is Mrs. Clinton. Uh, <laughs> they don't really want to think about how, how difficult it's going to be to run with her as their candidate in the fall. And Sanders is reminding them of her weakness. She was supposed to have a coronation. He was supposed to be a minor protest candidate. And uh, the reason that he's done as well as he has is because of Hillary Clinton. So they want him to get out so that uh, right away so that she can focus on Trump. Right, and so that they don't have to worry about her as much for at least a couple of months. All right, Dorothy, what about the argument that the Sanders people are making uh, that somehow he's being treated unfairly? Yes. That he is not getting the, 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 the love that he deserves because of how well he's done. Yes. Well, the Sanders people are filled with Bernie-injected martyrdom. They all walk around perceiving a world full of the system is rigged. This is the, this is the fuel on which they burn. But is it fair? Is it a fair no, point? No, it, it is not fair. This is an election contest. Uh, they fight. But this is exactly what happens uh, when, you, when you're imbued with revolutionary ardor. Bernie Sanders is not terribly different from Donald Trump in this one regard with his followers. That they will question nothing, and he will question none of their behavior, as you can see. But he has won, Dorothy, three of the last four major states. Yes. Okay? And, and the one he lost, Kentucky, was very close. Is this a case of Democrats having some buyer's remorse at the end of the campaign about Hillary Clinton, even though she's likely to be the nominee? I don't think so. I really don't. This is a rather standard. People hang on to the bitter end. I don't see any great difference here. The fact is the intense dislike of Mrs. Clinton uh, has fed into this story of, huh, what is she complaining about? He is the real victor going to be. But obviously she has the nomination, as she keeps saying, as she keeps being censured for saying and noticing. Uh, yet, but if the polls, Dan, show that, uh, that uh, Sanders does better uh, against Donald Trump than, uh, than Hillary Clinton does. I mean, could he be the better general election candidate? I think he could. Those head-to-heads that have had Sanders beating Trump by double digits have been there for months, Paul. They've always been sitting there without right. much comment at all. And I think that it, I think what it represents is a generic candidate, can Democratic candidate, against Trump. That Hillary is the one who is barely beats him. But if that candidate were Joe Biden or John Kerry, I think in the head-to-heads, they also would be 10 percent ahead of uh, Trump. I, I would even suggest that maybe Hillary Clinton is the only Democrat yeah. who could lose to, <laughs> to, Donald, to Donald Trump. How does Hillary Clinton get uh, uh, Bernie Sanders and especially his supporters? On board, James. Well, that's a very good question. I agree with Dorothy that uh, they are not, Sanders is not being cheated out of the nomination. I think that's a ridiculous claim. However, if his supporters feel that he's being cheated out of the nomination, that's a political problem for the Democrats anyway. Right. Our colleague Peggy Noonan proposes in our paper this weekend <laughs> that uh, Mrs. Clinton should consider making Sanders her running mate in order to keep the party together and bring her supporters on his supporters on board. And so I have a 70-year-old ticket to try to drive the youth. Yeah, I, 144 <laughs> years between them. I at first thought that that was a ridiculous idea, but I, reading Peggy's column, I kind of felt like the logic was surprisingly compelling. I know you don't agree with that. Well, <laughs> you know, wait till the American people get a full, steady blast of the Bernie Sanders, a man of the left, to put it mildly, for whom the entire American system has been poisoned his entire life, and there's no concealing it. This is what is there in Bernie Sanders. And when you listen to him, 
why are you bothering me about the violence of my followers? We're fighting for a better world. <laughs> this is the 1960s all over again. Of course, we're bombing the campuses. We so want to so you don't war. think Sanders would help uh, Hillary Clinton? I if think he's on he the would ticket. be uh, an, un, an endless uh, battle. So how does uh, how does she get his supporters on board? I mean, give him a speaking spot at the convention. Sure, you'll give him a big spot, you know, uh, influence the platform. He's already influenced her agenda in a major way on trade, taxes, and health care. So many things. How else does she? mobilize those voters keep them so they come out instead of staying home she could go up in front of the cameras and say I am a socialist <laughs> no really this is the problem the that's not going to help that is the dilemma the swing Democrats, voters not going to help the, that's exactly right and that's why all these pundits are upset about Bernie because he has moved the party so far to the left he is locking Hillary in to uh, progressive positions that will make it impossible for her to pivot towards the center in the general election very quickly Yes, yeah, she's moved to the left, but the one thing he has that she doesn't have, even if she declares herself a socialist, is sincerity.